Hi, how you doing? Justin here with another quick tip for you and today we're going to be talking about strap height. That will be how high or how low you should set your guitar on the strap. Now, this problem mostly seems to affect guys into heavy metal in their teenage years and it definitely affected me when I was a lad. Thanks to guys like Slash that play with a guitar really, really low down. Um, it was something that I really wanted to do. I thought it looked really cool. So I'd spend all my time, you know, sitting in my room practicing guitar and then I'd have the strap set really low. So when I went to stand up, the guitar would be like down here somewhere and I couldn't play and I was, you know, my wrist was getting sore and I couldn't do stuff. And I mean, it seems really obvious now, which is why I'm going to share, but it sure wasn't obvious at the time. And that's simply that with technique, if you're practicing sitting down like this, which most of us practice sitting down, right? You, you might choose to practice standing up after I explain this to you, but uh, most of us practice like this, you know, around this height. So it doesn't make any sense that if we've got used to all of our body mechanics to be in this shape, like our arms at this angle and, you know, our wrist bends this amount and our hand sits there, to suddenly when you stand up, if it goes like that, your wrist is just completely changed from like this, a nice flat shape, to really long and trying to struggle around even to get a power cord like that's pretty hard, you know. Now it does look cool, you know, I'll give it that. You know, having the, the guitar really low kind of looks bit more rock and roll, bit more, bit cooler. But if you're actually serious about what you're playing and the playing is more important than how you look, then actually there's a, probably some better options. Now, what I came to the decision of when I was probably in my early 20s was that the best place to have the strap was at the same height that I sit at. So now I'm sitting down, I've just put my strap on. The guitar is just touching my leg, but only just. I could, I could just put my feet, if I kind of sit with my, you know, sit up straight like you, like a, you should, you know. Uh, the guitar's not touching my leg. As soon as I kind of relax my shoulders, it's sitting on my, on my leg quite comfortably. So if I stand up, it's exactly the same height now as it is when I'm sitting down, right? And I think that's the best height that you should have your strap. You don't want it like too high like this, because again, it's just different. If you're used to practicing like this and you go on stage and it's right up there, it doesn't make any sense, right? So if you wanted to play with a guitar really low, what I would recommend that you do is practice with the guitar really low as well. Don't just practice it sitting down and then have it ro drop right down to your knees when you go to do the gig. You have to practice standing up. Lengthen your strap right out so the guitar's low at the height that you want, and then practice that way. It's not necessarily a bad thing playing with the guitar really low. There's loads of really great guitar players that did that. But what is bad is practicing like this and playing with it right down there. It just makes it difficult. And I'm sure there are exceptions, like, I don't know about Slash particularly, but I've seen him playing like this and he plays with the guitar quite low. So, you know, there's going to be exceptions to every rule. I'm just trying to offer you a kind of a general thing, just something to think about when it comes time to think about where you should set your strap to, you know. And, and I think... Having it at the same height as when you practice, as when you're standing up, like practice sitting down as you do standing up. And if you want to have the strap really low, you know, or that you're playing like a flying V guitar that doesn't sit on your lap, you know, then tend to be a bit lower. So you need to put the strap on when you're practicing, you know. So uh, I hope you find that interesting food for thought. And I'll see you for another quick tip very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.